Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I'm going to be unboxing this Logitech webcam, and it's called Brio, and it's a 4K Pro webcam. I'm super excited to open this. This has been a long time coming, and I've been saving up to get this. So let me explain to you why I got this. Hey, so I basically got this because um, I was using my S10. Before then, I was using my S7. It was decent. And then I was using my S10. And honestly, I didn't see a quality change between the two. So there is nothing much with this box. I like how simplistic it is and straightforward to the point. All you have to do is cut these three and you open it and probably the webcam is right there. Very simple. So let's grab my new unboxing knife and cut. Of course, away from yourself. Don't want to cut yourself, because that'll be bad. And here it is. Here is the Logitech Rio webcam. Now you can pull it out. And wow, this is actually solid. And I, I mean solid. This is wow. Let's put this aside and talk about this. So this is a metal construction. It's all metal. It's not plastic. That's good. Um, I know this part can, you can actually pop out if you place it and use this clip here, you use this, you can actually adjust it, which is cool. And this is what I'm planning on using. I'm using this clip here. What you can also do is you can pull out like this and it's going to be tough. So you have to be really careful. So what you could do is just pull and this comes out and it will show a tripod screw that you can try screw this into a tripod. This was very tough to remove, so don't hesitate to pull. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this instead of the, um, the tripod mount. So by the looks of it, we get, Ooh, <laughs> we get, Oh, cool. A carrying case, which is nice. And then you get um, USB 3.0 to type C. This is what I'm talking about. For instance, my Corsair headsets that I use, I unboxed it. You can click the link right there and it uses this connection here. It's the old type of um, cable that we honestly don't use anymore, except for a few things, of course. But like old Android phones use this. My Raycon earbuds use this. And now my Corsair headset use these, which is a little weird. So this webcam is USB type C, which is back here. So you plug this in and then the USB goes into the back of your computer or the front, whichever you want, but make sure it is 3.0. The cable is really dense and thick, so that's pretty good. It looks um, very sturdy, which is cool too. This also looks really long and if you have a long run to your computer, this might fit, but also you can probably use a 3.0 USB extension, which is a male to female USB 3.0, and you can connect this side into it and then run a longer wire to your computer or wherever source you're putting this into. What flew out the bag is this thing. I do not know what this is. And then at the end of the box, we get an instruction guide, which is pretty simple. And it just shows you, you can connect it. You can use it on your um, monitor here, how it shows you. You can pop it out and you can screw it onto a tripod. And that's the cover. Oh, okay. So this goes like that. And then you can cover the webcam. Oh, that is cool. After that, you have some um, paper that is sort of like a important safety things. This one is a warranty probably, or a user guide maybe. Probably a warranty and maybe risk of stuff. So this is what we get in the box. Of course, we get the USB to plug this into the computer, the webcam, the lens protector or cover. We get a carrying case if you're traveling. I like that touch. And then we get the setup guide and a few pamphlets. So that was a pretty quick run through of what's inside the box. 
I'm super excited to try this out and this does record up to 4k 30 fps but I'm going to be recording um, 1440p at 60 fps and I am going to be showing you how to set it up in OBS because that's my main um, program that I use for my webcam that I usually record gameplay on. So let's set this up and I'll show you how it's pretty easy. Of course, we need to peel the protective paper off. Let's listen. Ah, soothing. Also, there is a film up top right here that I did not see. So you can just peel this off. Alrighty, so we're going to place this webcam here, right in the center. I'm going to try to make fit this up the best I can. So now we're going to undo the USB type C to USB. Or just type C to USB. And yeah, this is decently long. So if you have a short or a medium sized run, this will fit. Okay, so we're going to run this down in the back of my monitors and down so we can bring it to my computer and then through the ring light we're going to connect this in the back and it doesn't matter what orientation you flip this like this or like this because usb type c is made to go both ways which is awesome so um we're going to plug it in on the back here like that and now i'm going to wire manage the back Alrighty, so before we start setting up the webcam in OBS, we need to plug it in. So plug it into a 3.0 USB on your computer. Make sure it's that because you won't be able to get 4K resolution if you plug it into a, a 2.0. So if you have a 3.0 available, you can do that. But if you have a 2.0, you can still use the webcam, but you won't be getting anything really high resolution. So, let's plug it into a 3.0 USB. Alrighty, it is connected. What we're going to do is check Device Manager. And we're going to see if we can see it. It should be under some kind of sound video or game controller. So, whoop, it just restarted. So, Logitech Brio right there. So now we're going to close this out and now this is my setup. This is where my webcam goes or where IV cam my S10 was. I'm going to be uninstalling IV cam because um, that's I'm not going to be using IV cam. What we are going to be using is the Logitech um, G hub here. I use this for my mouse, but first we're going to set it up in OBS and then we're going to look at um, the Logitech G hub. So we're going to delete this source here. Remove. Are you sure? Yes. Now this is completely empty. So what we need to do is we're going to press the add button and we're going to do video capture device. Now we're going to name this uh, Logitech Brio. What we're going to pick is Logitech Brio. Now it's going to say that it's black because I have the camera um, cover on it, but it's a rectangle. And if I undo it here, here I am. <laughs> so you can see me right here in this corner right here, and then you can see me right here. We're gonna change the resolution here. We're gonna go into the Logitech G Hub, and then that's where um, we can uh, adjust the exposure, the brightness, contrast, everything. It's really solid. So. What we're gonna pick is we're gonna pick device default, resolution type and whatnot. We're gonna do custom. Now, of course, my screen went away because we are selecting a custom resolution. We're gonna be picking um, 2560 by 1440p. I'm gonna be recording in um, 2K resolution for just in general recording, but also mainly for gaming. So we're gonna pick this, match output um, FPS, Auto select 30? No, we're not doing 30. It says, it says match output FPS and it does automatic auto select 30. See how choppy it is and all that? It's not really that great if in the preview here. But then once I pressed, I'll just move my head. See how like it's a little blurry? But then when I do highest FPS, 
and I'm keep moving my head, there's a slight difference between the movement and how smooth my mouth opens. So I'm assuming I'm recording my webcam in 1440p 60fps. So for video format, we pick at any. For color space, 709. Color range is going to be full. Basically, this is sort of matching every... Um, there it goes. This is sort of um, matching what OBS has when I'm recording my webcam or when I'm recording my desktop or gaming. The um, 709 and full is exactly what um, my screen is getting recorded as. And then for buffering, we're going to keep it as auto detect because it'll just do the buffering by itself. We're going to keep apply rotation data from camera, if any, and then we're going to keep it as capture audio only. So that's going to capture the webcam audio only, but we're not going to be using that. I'll show you how to get rid of it. So this is how everything is. So we're going to press OK. It's pretty much set up. So this is what it looks like. This is a really wide lens and we can go into G Hub and fix that. Also, I need to fix the tilt of this because it's tilted a little bit and then you can actually adjust the focus which you could sort of make the background blurry it does auto detect but I want to do it manually because I'm going to be sitting exactly like this in every video and I'm going to show you a little trick for you to actually get your face in focus and leave the background unfocused or just the depth of field in the back really nice so in order for us to get rid of the Logitech audio thing right here you can either mute it and leave it or you can right click it and press hide and that will get rid of that and that's awesome because then it just gets rid of that um, end of things and you don't have to worry about um, that collaborating of junk that develops over time we're going to open the G um, hub so you right click and press launch that I'm going to select the Brio now it's going to give you a camera thing but here's the catch. We're not going to be, um, you're not going to be able to get this because we're using OBS and OBS is maintaining that application. So there is camera mode and um, no, uh, video filter. And I was like, why can I not control these? And I just clicked it and it says add new camera mode. So I was like, okay. So I did that and now I can actually adjust the zoom, the focus, the exposure, the field of view, um, priority, and HDR. So that also applies with the video as well. So it says none, you just say add new filter add, or add video mode or add new filter or whatever it said. And then you can adjust all of it. So right now, if I click um, 90 field of view, it will bring me out 90 degrees field of view. If I do field of view of 65, because I was just on 78 before 90, this is what I like. Because then I can just crop my face here and it's perfect. Now the trick I'm going to show you is going to be a little weird, but you can actually zoom in all the way like this. The focus is set to auto right here. Let me do that. It's set to auto. We're going to uncheck auto and then we're going to use the slider to adjust the focus. So right now it's not affecting it. It's not live, but the minute I release it at a certain area, it goes out of focus. If I go all the way out of focus, it's all the way out of focus. This camera is amazing using G hub. I'm amazed with this, but what we're going to do is we're going to slowly turn it down so that my face is going to be in focus only until you get that crystal clear look to it. And also zooming in helps you focus on your face because that's mainly what is being focused your face, not the background, not my blanket or the chair or my chest or whatever. It's my face. So what we're going to do is that we're going to keep moving the slide down until it's um, a bit clearer. You can see it's a little blurry. Move it just a little bit. That is clear. We're going to move it just a little bit more. Okay, that did do it a little bit more, but we're going to move it up. So this one right now is completely out of, like completely at the end. So that is good. Now we're going to zoom all the way out. And of course, it's going to set us to like all this stuff. But now, see how a little bit blurry the background is? Of course, it's focusing on my clock because that's more closer to. But almost all the background is blurry, which is nice. 
I'm also going to adjust the settings with too. Along with the exposure and the video, brightness, contrast, sharpness, I'm going to fool around with this. Just bear with me with that because that is very tedious. Even with Ivy Cam, it took me a little bit to get that appearance that I like, which is sort of a dark background, make the red pop, and I'm still lit by my ring light, but everything else is black, basically, almost black. So um, I'm going to adjust the settings with that accordingly on my own leisure because that will take a little bit. But this is going to be really cool. I like this camera already. It's actually really clear. It's better than the S10 going through Ivy Cam. Even though I was actually recording at 4K 60fps on full everything in the program on my computer and the app, it still had this sharpness weird look to it. And it just didn't look super clear. This is super clear. This almost looks like iPhone clear. Maybe even like a really expensive camera clear. I'm very surprised how like beef up the quality is with this. I'm amazed. Also, it's worth mentioning that, as I said, it's a full entire metal body, but also the front is glass, it's not plastic. So that's sort of like a plus with just how it acts. I like that feature, how it's glass. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. And when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below and you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. And I know I'm missing a lot. I want to talk a lot, but this is just an unboxing and setup. It's not really an overview or a review. I will do that in the future. I plan on doing that in the future because it's something I'm going to be using almost constantly when I record gaming videos and also just in general videos like this uh, if I need to access my computer or something. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is the Tech Man. Yeah. Yeah.